reading from the book of Prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. But as for you, prepare yourself for actions. Stand up and tell them all that I commanded you. Be not afraid of their presence, for I shall make you fearless. For behold, it is I have made you this day into a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass to stand against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but will not prevail over you, for I am with you to rescue you, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the First Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, set your mind for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall put before you the best way of all. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but without love, I am no more than a booming goom or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the power of prophecy to comprehend all mysteries and knowledge, and though I have all the faith necessary to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I possess to the poor, and even if I give up my body to be burned, if I am without love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is never jealous. Love is not boastful. Love is not inflated. Love is never rude and never seeks its own advantage. Love is not quick-tempered and does not brood over injury. Love does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, trusts all things, hope all things, and endure whatever comes, and love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be done away with. If tongues, they will fall silent, and if knowledge, they will be brought to nothing. For we know imperfectly only, and we prophesy imperfectly. But once perfection comes, all imperfect things will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk like a child, think like a child, and reason as a child. But when I became an adult, I put aside all childish ways. At present, we only see reflections in a mirror, but then seeing face to face. Now I only know partially, then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. As it is, these three remain, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled while you are listening. And all gave testimony to him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, no doubt you will call to me the saying, Physician, heal yourself, and tell me, we have heard all that happened in Capernaum. Do the same here in your own native place. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. And in truth I tell you, there are many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when heaven was shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was only sent to a widow in Zarephath, in the land of Sidon. And in the prophet Elijah's time, there are many lepers who suffered in Israel, yet None of them was cured, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with anger. They rose up, drove Jesus out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to cast him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 